Hello guys, I'm Sarah the Bears and today we will upgrade our large battery circuit which is displaying the charge of the battery and we will build something which is called Schmidt Trigger let's do it we will need two logic processors and two memories the first logic processor will be a compare unit and the other processor will be a select unit and we will need two memories let's say we want to do something when the charge of the battery is between 50 and 60 percent so we will use memory one and we will put there 0 0.50 and the other memory will be 0 0.60 nutrition low i will rename these two memories So we will have two memories, like one will be ratio minimum and the other one will be ratio maximum. I did a small mistake. I had the math unit here, but it needs to be a compare unit. So let's program this circuit. We want to compare this logic reader with a select unit. But the select unit will have input this compare unit the input on the left side will be ratio minimum memory and the right side will be ratio maximum memory the compare unit will compare the charge reader with a select unit The logic function for compare unit will be less. So we can see what is happening right now. 0 0.18 here is less than a logic select. So it is ratio maximum.
So now we all need one more logic writer. And we need to connect the output with the transformer, but on the input side. So let's do it. We need the power for logic writer. And we need data as well. So what now? The input for this logic writer will be this compare unit. The output will be the transformer. And the state, or let's say the variable, will be on. So we can try it. So the transformer is charging the battery, but I will increase the output of the transformer, transformer because otherwise we will sit here for an hour. I will record this process of charging the battery and I will speed it up. Ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching our destination, which is 0 0.60. So now, the transformer is offline, because it reached 0 0.60. Now, the power will go down to 0 0.50 that's our minimum and when it hits 0 0.50 or let's say 50% then the transformer will run again so let's do it the power goes down very slowly because we don't have a uh, something really really hungry in this circuit so I will use a large battery and small transformer for it let's simulate that we have something hungry at the end of the circuit which is taking a lot of power So the power goes down and this battery is charging. So when we will hit 50% or let's say 0.50 ratio, 
this transformer will kick on. And now it is running. So I will slow down this transformer here. And we will see the battery, this one, is charging again. So this large battery will be always between 50 and 60 percent. Because we have the ratio here, like 0 0.5 and 0 0.6. Let's upgrade our small system. I will take these two memories out. And I will use two logic processors. And I will use one memory. and two dials. I will rename these new electronic devices I will set this memory to value 10. I will set this dial to maximum 10. And this one as well. What to do with two dials? Let's say we want to have something better. So this math unit will calculate this dial, divide by this 10, So now it is working and the other dial will do exactly the same thing. So the input will be dial max. And input number 2 will be memory value 10. and it will be divide.
So let's say we have five here. So this one I want to be six or seven. So we have 0 0.5 here and 0 0.7 here. So what is the next step? We will take this data from math unit min and math unit max and we will use this data in a select unit. So this is this will be the minimum and this will be the maximum. So let's discharge the battery a little bit. So now we can see the battery is charged to 70% which is 0 0.7 and it will start to charge when the ratio is 0 0.5 or 50%. So thank you very much guys for watching, if you want to see more subscribe to my channel bye bye